Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. Now I'm starting the last and final unit of the subject computerized accounting, unit number five. So in this unit, I'm going to explain you about the contents of this unit, unit number five. That is uh, MIS reports, management information system. What are the reports that can be prepared from Tally ERP 9? Introductory part I am going to explain in this uh, video. Apart from that, what is a trial balance? What are the objectives? What is cash flow statement? How the cash flow statement will be displayed in Tally ERP 9? These are the points I am going to cover up in this video. So watch the video till the end. Last video I have prepared regarding the unit number four that is receivables, accounts receivables and accounts payables management. Hope my regular viewers have already watched all those videos, got a good command on unit number four. Now before starting this unit number five, take a screenshot of the points which I have written on the board. Then I'll explain all the introduction about MIS reports. What are the contents of this unit number five? The main heading of this unit number five is MIS, Management Information System Reports. See, the accounting will begin from recording the transactions in the books of original entry, that is journal. Later on, all the transactions will be posted from journal to ledger. And periodically, statements are prepared like trial balance, Profit and loss account, balance sheet, cash flow statement, receipts and payment, ratio analysis, all these statements can be prepared. So we can say the ultimate objective of accounting is to prepare the financial statements. In order to prepare the financial statements, a number of steps have to be followed. So the end product of accounting is financial statements. And financial statements are the reports which are produced by this accounting package, tally ERP 9. So management's main function is to take the decisions and decisions can be taken with the help of information. So there should be some system which should generate the information and this information should be continuously passed to the management. On the basis of that information, management can be able to take prudent decisions. So ultimately, the quality of management de uh, decisions depends on the quality of the reports it, it is having. So this Tally ERP 9 will generate a number of reports which will be helpful to the management in taking the decisions. So what are the MIS reports? First part, I'm going to explain you about introduction of MIS reports. What are the management information system reports that are generated Tally ERP 9 and advantages of MIS it's very important because just now I told you management requires information without information management cannot perform the functions of planning organizing staffing controlling coordinating all these functions of management depends on the information provided so MIS is very very important for every organization Next, MIS report in ERP. In ERP package, in accounting software, a number of management information reports will be generated like accounting reports are there, inventory reports are there, payroll reports are there. Apart from that, a number of other reports like financial reports are there. All these are the reports which are produced by ERP, but just by a click of the mouse. Next one is the important reports. The accounting reports are trial balance, then profit and loss account, balance sheet, cash flow statement, ratio analysis. These are all the end of, end of the year reports generated. So normally every business will make the trial balance, will make trading profit and loss account, will make balance sheet. Apart from that, nowadays ratio analysis and cash flow statement, these have also become a part of financial statements. Next comes books and reports. In order to control the business, every day, day books are required. 
the day books are purchase day book sales day book purchase return book sales return book bills receivable book bills payable book cash book all these are dif different day books which are required so these are the contents of unit number 5 first of all <coughs> MIS introduction to MIS management information system it's a system of to gather information management information system MIS is a system to gather the information in performing proper functions of the management remember so MIS main purpose is to gather the information then modify the information make it more suitable and supply this information to the management so that the management can be able to take timely prompt accurate decisions next these there are different types of mis reports prepared in tally erp9 this tally erp9 accounting software will provide a number of features in making different types of reports some of them are accounting reports then inventory report then management control report financial report etc these are only examples i have given all these are the reports which are available in tally erp9 so a user can make all these reports and present these reports to the management now the tally erp9 is used to prepare trial balance trading profit and loss account balance sheet so apart from this traditional accounting reports user can also prepare cash flow statement these are the financial reports cash flow statement receipts and payment ratio analysis through tally erp9 so earlier earlier times the main financial statements are trial balance profit and loss account balance sheet that's it but nowadays as the business grows the management requires more and more information so tally erp9 will provide not only a trial balance trading profit and loss account balance sheet but also it will provide the reports on cash flow statement and receipts and payments and ratio analysis all these are the reports which can be generated from tally erp9 it also enables the user to prepare day books just now i told you day books are also required because the number of transactions are increasing so day to day the books should be ready day books are sales day book purchase sales register purchase register for specific period similarly bills receivable book can be used to review the form of ledger wise receivable report and aging analysis report ledger wise reports regarding the receivable account receivable and aging schedules can be prepared so these are all the day books which are which uh, we can be prepared from tally erp9 this is the introduction part of mis now the next question is short question will be asked in examination what is a trial balance why it is prepared what are the objectives of making the trial balance it's very simple um, almost every student knows it a trial balance is a statement which is prepared by taking all ledger account balances so the process of accounting is first of all every day the transactions will be recorded in journal day books periodically every weekly or fortnightly all the transactions will be transferred from journal to ledger through posting this process of journalizing and posting will be continued throughout the year at the end of the year we need to make the financial statements trading profit and loss account balance sheet but before making trading profit and loss account balance sheet we require all the ledger balances so it will be difficult to directly go to the ledger and take one by one balance so what is a simple treatment we make a statement a statement called trial balance in this trial balance we make two columns debit column and credit column we take all the debit balances from ledger accounts and put all these in debit column similarly we take all the balances credit balances in ledger and we take all credit balances in credit column if the total of debit column and total of credit column are equal then we can say the books are arithmetically correct that means the posting has been rightly done 
no errors in posting the transactions from journal to ledger so normally every business will make a trial balance before making the financial statements before making the trading profit and loss account and balance sheet so here i have given trial balance is a statement we list down all the debit and credit balances from the ledger accounts from the ledger account some ledger account may show debit balance some ledger account may show credit balance take all the debit balance all the credit balance put it in a list that is called trial balance now it is prepared in order to verify whether the total of debit and credit are same or not because we are following double entry system of bookkeeping in this double entry system of bookkeeping every debit shall have a corresponding credit so whatever amount we are debiting to one account same amount should be credited to another account according to double entry system so as many debits we are having so many credits we should have so total of debit and total of credit must be same the trial balance can also define a statement consisting of balances of different ledger account at a specific date when both sides of trial balance tally it shows that the books are arithmetically correct it's not the conclusive proof that there are no errors it is a acid test this trial balance is a acid test that the accounts are accurate but there are some limitations of this trial balance the limitation is in spite that total debit and total credit are same there may be a possibility of some errors means some errors may not be disclosed in the trial balance like error of omission error of commission error of principal these type of errors are there but it will not be disclosed in the trial balance that is the limitation of trial balance but normally we think that when trial balance agrees there may be no error arithmetically correct this is the meaning of the term trial balance now what are the objectives why this trial balance is prepared first one to assure that the books of accounts are being scientifically maintained according to double entry system of bookkeeping first objective to check to ensure that the books of accounts have been scientifically following the double entry system of bookkeeping so in double entry system of bookkeeping every debit shall have a corresponding credit so whether we are following this principle or not to check that we make the trial balance second one to help in summarizing at the all the ledger account at one place <clears throat> just now i told you in order to prepare the financial statements we need all ledger balances ledger is a huge book why we unnecessarily search one after the other before making the financial statement we list down all the ledger balances at one place so that is the objective to take all the ledger balances and keep it at one place so that it will be helpful that is the reason why we make a trial balance third to check arithmetic accuracy of the books of account just now i told you whether there are any errors or not if the total debit and total credit are not same it signifies there may be some errors to check the arithmetic accuracy we need to prepare the trial balance next one to serve as a foundation for preparing trading profit and loss account and balance sheet the financial statements consist of trading profit and loss account balance sheet so this trading profit and loss account balance sheet can be easily prepared if we have a trial balance by taking all the trial balance items we can be able to make the trading profit and loss account balance sheet otherwise if we don't have the trial balance we have to go to the ledger find out again and again each and every item it will be difficult not impossible but difficult to prepare the financial statements so this trial balance will facilitate in preparing the financial statements next one is to locate the errors in the books of accounts if the trial balance does not agree does not tally it is signifies there may be some errors we have to go to the ledger accounts find out where the errors are rectify the errors and again come to make the financial statements so these are the objectives of making a trial balance next one last question in this video is regarding what is cash flow statement how cash flow statement is displayed see traditionally the financial statements are trading profit and loss account balance sheet that's it but nowadays as the business expands 
the management does not require only trading profit and loss account and balance sheet but also the management requires a number of other statements one of the other statement which every management requires is cash flow statement what is cash flow statement it's a statement which shows the inflow and outflow of cash during a period of time during a period of time how much is the cash inflow and how much is the cash outflow in an enterprise in a business enterprise that is called cash flow statement so for making cash flow statement we have to categorize all the activities of the business into three categories operating activity investing activity and financing activity all the activities will be divided into three example operating activities are those primary activity of the business for which the business exists every business will exist for a particular main activity primary activity that primary activity is called the operating activity so how much funds are generated or funds are used in operating activity what are the cash inflow and outflow in operating activity secondly investing activity how much money has been invested in purchasing the capital asset fixed asset investment made in fixed asset or there is cash inflow on disposal of fixed asset some fixed assets are purchased so there is cash outflow some fixed assets are sold during the year there is cash inflow so how much is the cash inflow and how much cash outflow on purchasing or disposal of fixed asset that is called investing activity third is financing activity from where the business has procured the funds funds in the form of owners capital and borrowed capital owners capital means share capital so how much is the share capital raised or how much is the share capital redeemed similarly how much money borrowed and how much money repaid this inflow and outflow of financing activity that inflow and outflow regarding the capital and borrowings are called financing activity so in this way cash flow statement is a statement which is prepared to show all cash inflows and cash outflows during a particular period of time regarding the operating activities investing activities and financing activities right cash and cash equivalent by grouping them into particular cfs cash flow statement is referred to as post mortem exercise or a method of historical financial analysis that means past in the past period how much cash inflow and how much cash outflow has occurred during a particular period that's why it is called post mortem because already what had ha happened in the past that we are analyzing now historical analysis next one is it is used to identify all factors which lead to changes in the cash position of the business what are the factors due to which there is a change in the cash position of the business if cash increased how the cash is increased if cash decreased why the cash has decreased to find out that we have to make the cash flow statement now to view cash flow in erp 9 uh, the steps to be followed are how to view the cash flow statement in tally erp 9 steps step number 1 go to gateway of tally first of all open the tally then click on cash flow or second display second you select a display option because we want to see the cash flow statement display then click on cash flow or funds flow then in cash flow and funds flow click the cash flow then press alt plus f2 to change the date pre prepared for which you need to take the cash flow so for which period you want to prepare the cash flow statement specify the period by pressing alt plus f2 then cash flow statement will be displayed that's it so these are the steps to be followed to display the cash flow statement in tally erp 9 that's it so this is the end of this video in this video i have explained you about the introduction of mis reports what are mis reports what are the different types of reports prepared by tally erp 9 i have explained uh, in detail about the tally, uh, sorry trial balance trial balance and its objectives and also cash flow statement 
so if you are satisfied with my lecture give a like to the video share my channel in your group in your friend circle so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge give your comments and specify from which uni university you are where you are studying so that i can be able to know who are my viewers for what purpose for which for which course they are watching this video and inshallah the next topic i'll continue in the next video